New Yorkers see the Met as a friend. The four city blocks of the Met house over two million works of art, covering 5,000 years of human history. Any one of its great galleries would make a program in itself. So it is with a pang of knowing what I have to leave out that I've chosen from the collection. The Egyptian galleries include an entire reconstructed temple, the Temple of Dendor, given to America by the government of Egypt. But for me, it can't compare with another Egyptian work that is not only small, but broken. There are some works of art that are so purely beautiful, like this Egyptian head of a queen, that all we want to do is just to look at it in silence. But there were three things that occurred to me. It's carved out of yellow jasper, which is one of the hardest stones known to us. And look at the apparent ease and grace with which that unknown genius has accomplished it. And then, although scholars still think that this genius lived about the middle of the second millennium BC, they no longer feel they know who the queen was. And I wonder if the queen was, whether this is not just an ideal head that the sculptor made as the perfect ideal wife for his divine pharaoh. And then I thought, this terrible mutilation, the breaking. That happened hundreds, thousands of years ago. And where perhaps the first people living at the beginning of the 21st century who can see that crack as something they can respond to. And because the world is clearly not what it should be, it's an aggressive, unloving world. We are frightened of perfection. And there are many contemporary artists who make things and then they, they break them and they twist them and they mutilate them. It gives them control. It takes that terrible fear of the unreality of perfection away from them. And so we can look at the head and admire and respond to the change of color the polished jasper and the unpolished darker jasper within. We can see the contrast between the jig-jag of the crack and the utter perfection of the chin and those full lips. And this is a blessing for us, but it's also very sad. <laughs> 